an empties video. It's been a couple months since I've done one and I've accumulated a ton, like a ton of stuff. Just gonna start going through them. We have skincare, body care, hair care, makeup, a little bit of everything. And if you're not familiar with empties, basically I just show you products I finished up, let you know if I'll repurchase them, if I like them. And yeah, that's pretty much what empties are, talking about my trash and letting you know my thoughts. So the first thing is these two Dr. Teal's bubble baths. It's my favorite bubble bath. It's the only one that I really purchase. I have the Soothe and Sleep with Lavender and the Restore and Replenish with Pink Himalayan Salt. I love them both. They give you a lot of bubbles. They're very fragrant without being irritating. I found the Soothe and Sleep at Target, but then I found that Walmart has a better and bigger selection of the bubble baths. So if you're wanting a larger variety, I would check out Walmart or Amazon. I will leave some links down below, but I like them both and I continue to repurchase them. So the next one is the Erno Laszlo Soothe and Calm Mask. I do really like these. I got these when I went to Beautycon, I think that's where I got them, uh, in San Francisco, and they're really nice. I really love sheet masks, they're very hydrating. I find that most of the sheet masks pretty much work the same on me, so I don't really have like a preference or really notice a difference between high end and the like drugstore version, but I do really like these and I would repurchase them. Also, I have these Karuna deep conditioning masks. This came in like a boxy charm or uh, maybe a FabFit Fun Box. This is the hydrating face mask for dull, dry, dehydrated skin. Loved it, very hydrating, it felt nice, soothing, all of those wonderful things. I also finished up the Living Proof Perfect Dry Shampoo. You guys know this is my favorite. I bought more cans than I can count, so that one is wonderful. Definitely repurchase it. This is the Cocoa Brown by Marissa Carter. I can't remember if this was sent to me or if I bought it off Amazon. It's their one hour tan mousse. I think I remember liking this. I actually don't even remember using it all up, but I went and pulled it out from underneath my sink and it was completely gone. Um, so I think I liked it, but I can't quite remember. I can't remember. It does say that it has no fake tan smell, but it smells like Tahitian gardenia. I still think it smells like tan air. So uh, I think it's like a less expensive version of maybe like the Loving Tan. Um, but I think I did like it. I, I would have talked about it in like a crap products if I really hated it. I finished up the Wild Madagascar Vanilla Vanilla Bean Body Scrub. I love Bath & Body Works body scrubs. The only thing is is like the packaging starts to come undone, which is sort of annoying. But really loved it, smelled amazing, and would definitely repurchase. The Dessange Replenishing Shampoo and Conditioner. The conditioner, oh here it is. This was nice. I was sent this, I think, from Allison broad PR. I liked it. Um, it's not like my favorite. I don't even know where you purchase this, but it was okay. I'm not super picky on shampoo and conditioner. I just really know when I don't like it, but other than that, it was fine. This is the Black Sugar Perfect Scrub Foam from Skin Food. I loved this. It really was nice. It was like a really great exfoliator that as you massaged it in, the exfoliating beads kind of um, dissolved and became a foam, but it was like a really condensed scrub to begin with. Absolutely love this. Highly, highly, highly recommend it. It is a fantastic, fantastic scrub. I also finished this. This is the Olay Luminous Miracle Boost Concentrate. I talked about this in an Olay video. I partnered with them. I love this. It's a wonderful, lightweight, kind of slightly illuminating serum. It made my skin feel and look so beautiful and radiant, but not like overly glowy. Really, really like this. The next is this Derma E Hydrating Night Cream. This was a really nice night cream. And the other thing I liked about it is it wasn't super heavy either. So it was very moisturizing without being like heavy or feeling like it was gonna clog my pores. So yes, I would recommend that. Oh yes, my Old Spice. This is the Lasting Legend. I liked this one. Um, I found a new one. I found a new fragrance that I like even more. I talked about it on Snapchat. I can't think of it off the top of my head. But yes, I continue to buy Old Spice. It's just what I do. Lots of lashes here. We have Iconics, which I love. I think I'm gonna wear those on my wedding day. These are House of Lashes Iconic Lights. I actually have Iconic Lights on right now. Love them. The Skeeto Lashes in Gina. Um, let's see if I can zoom in. These ones were really pretty. And I do have a discount code in the description box below if you guys are interested in Mosquito Lashes. They are beautiful. Uh, also the Stephanie Lashes, these ones were super great as well. 
really loved these ones and so there will be a link in the description box if you're interested in getting some mosquito lashes mosquito lashes are one of my favorite brands i just think they're so beautiful they're so fluffy and i haven't found a pair that i don't like yet this is the l'oreal ever pure sulfate free color system this is in lotus and this is their shampoo and conditioner where's the shampoo here we go i really love the ever pure line i have used it off and on for years it's sulfate free so it really does help keep your color lasting it doesn't really strip the color out of your hair and this was the lotus one and i liked it the volumizing i thought it was great didn't make my roots feel heavy or gunky uh, so yeah i really like this one i'm really not sure what like the big hoopla is over my cellar water some people swear by it and they love it i don't find like it really takes off any makeup I just don't really understand it. So the way that I use this, because I have a ton of micellar water and I'm trying to like figure out how to use it or what it's good for. Basically what I do is I, in the morning, because I don't wash my face with soap in the morning, I kind of just run this all over my face on a cotton pad and then go in with my toner and all of that. And it works okay. I just, I don't know, I don't, I don't get it. Let me know how you use it and why you like it in the comments below. I finished up some Shiseido cotton. I go through so much of this. I just purchased more. I love it. I love it. I love it. So yes, repurchase. Here's another pair of lashes from Mosquito. These are the Illumina. I will let you see there. Really, really pretty. Yes, I love them. We'll repurchase them. This is another one of the Karuna masks. I have a Bon, Vi a bon Vivant. Bon Vivant, I think. Uh, that day mask, the Brightening Care. Loved it. Got it from where did I get this one? Beautycon. I have a Bosha Firming Hydrogel Mask that I bought at Sephora. I really liked that one. It was cool because it was um, more of a gel formula versus a like sheet mask. Uh, this is an Animal Panda Mask, which looks frightening. You can get these at Target, and I really liked it, but they do definitely make you look a little creepy. Some e.l.f. Cleansing Removing Pads. I liked this for wiping off swatches. I did not use it on my eyes, so I don't really, I don't really use... Uh, makeup wipes on my eyes very often so mainly i use them to remove swatches or face makeup but these were nice uh for removing swatches i don't know about for your eye makeup though they're living proof perfect dry shampoo you guys i'm not joking when i tell you i love it uh we have some san tropez tanner this is in dark this is okay it's not my favorite i feel like it's really green like i put it on and i feel like i just look very green and weird looking it does kind of um, wash off to give you a more olive tan, which is really pretty. But I just found other ones I like better, and this one's pretty expensive. More makeup removing wipes. These are my favorite, the Costco ones, but you can also get them on Amazon. They're the Kirkland All Skin Type Wipes. That's what I continue to repurchase. I have a Beach Night. This is Summer Marshmallow Shower Gel. This was fantastic. I love the smell. If it ever comes back, I want it. It's so, so good. Summer Marshmallow Beach Nights. Now, this one was Ted's Mahogany Woods. He really likes this to wash his hair and his body. And I think it smells delicious. So he loves these and so I continue to buy them for him. All right, this is the Nourishing Night Cream from e.l.f. This was something Ted used. He really liked it. He said it didn't make his skin feel greasy and it didn't make him break out. So it got a, a plus from him. All right, this is the Pixie Hydrating Milky Mist. I love this, I have a backup of it. It has a nice mist, it has hyaluronic acid in it and black oat, deep moisture, youth preserving. Loved it, highly recommend it. You can get it at Target and it's a great like just face mist before you start your makeup. I also have this little triple sec from Dry Bar. This is a great little like volumizer, texturizer for your hair. Really, really like that. I have an Eva NYC. This is their Surf's Up Texture Spray, another great texturizing spray. These were from like a little sample kit that I got. Also smells amazing. So these two, yes, would definitely repurchase. I still like the Bumble and Bumble Dry Spun the best, but these ones are also really good. I have this Shu, what is this? Shu Amara? Shu Amara. This is their cleansing oil. I really liked this one. It is called their Skin Purifier Antioxy Pollutant and Dullness Clarifying Cleansing Oil. Cute packaging, really liked this. It was sent to me, I think it was sent to me, uh, but this was a great cleansing oil if you're looking for one. This 100% Pure Coffee Bean Caffeine Eye Cream, this took forever to use. It's really good, it's one fluid ounce and it's not very expensive and it will last you a very long time. I mean, I use this for at least six, seven, eight months 
and I do really like it. I have the Hourglass Illusion Tinted Moisturizer. This is in the shade Light Beige. Don't let the word Tinted Moisturizer fool you. It's, it's very full coverage. I did like this. Um, it's just a little bit heavy and a little drying for my skin. Uh, but if you want like a full coverage tinted moisturizer, then this would be what you needed. All right, some primers. Here's this NARS Pro Prime. This is their pore finding primer. I don't really love this. I didn't feel like it did anything for my pores. It didn't fill them in. It was, it's a real thin formula, so I don't know what it does for my pores. It's oil-free. It was okay. I definitely would not repurchase that one. This is the Smashbox Pore Minimizing. This one does do something for your pores. It fills them in really nicely. Very similar to the Benefit Porefessional if you're looking for uh, if you're looking for a really good pore filling primer, that's a great one. This is the Vita Lumia Aqua in 30 Beige. This is a really nice foundation. It's very um, lightweight on the skin. This is like used to be like a cult favorite a long time ago in YouTube world. And it's really nice. It's a light coverage, light to probably buildable medium coverage. Um, I probably wouldn't repurchase it again because I just really never reached for it um, in the last like year or two. So. That one's going bye-bye. The Urban Decay Naked Skin in the shade Light Neutral. I popped out the stopper so I could just really get all of the uh, concealer out of there. Love these. I've continued to repurchase these many times. Elizabeth James White Nirvana. I purchased that many times. I have two full size. Actually, I used up a full size. So I have one full size left and I have a bunch of the roller balls. Also, the Sun Digio. Digi? Digio? It's from Giorgio Armani. Oh, it smells really good. It's definitely more of like a sexy scent. Then I have Versace Bright Crystal. I really liked that one. And Black Opium, which I've repurchased the full size at least twice. Really like that one as well. I have the Wet n Wild Powder. This is a fantastic powder. Holy grail for me. This was neutral beige. I finished it up. It is a fantastic powder. And since I haven't had it, like I've really noticed how much I love it because I'm having a hard time finding a powder that I like as much as this one. Really cheap, really, really great. Definitely recommend that. The Laura Mercier Brow Pencil. I did a campaign with them or like a Instagram video with them a few months ago. This was in like Warm Brunette, I think. Loved this pencil. It was so great. Now it's gone. Highly recommend checking them out if you're looking for a good like sharpener pencil if you like that for your brows. I also finished up the Precisely My Brow from Benefit. I like these ones as well. It's the little fine tip which it doesn't roll up anymore because it's gone, uh, in shade three. Loved that. And then I have Anastasia Brow Definer in Taupe, and that one is also gone. Sometimes when I want like a softer, lighter brow, I'll do taupe like in the first half of my brow and then a different color to kind of blend out, make it darker towards the tail. And then I'm deep, I'm just kind of getting rid of this one. This is the Brunette Dark Brown Powder. I've had this for so long and um, I have a whole other kit for it, and I've literally had this for probably six years, so I'm, I'm saying bye to that. Also finished up the O oh Snap ColourPop Lip Pencil. This is the third lip liner from ColourPop I've gone through. I just love their lip liner so much, especially that color. This was the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Porsche. You guys know I love this. I talked about it to death. It is gone. This is like face tune for your face in real life. Love it. Definitely going to repurchase that. And then the last thing I'm just or I'm getting rid of is the Time Bomb from The Bomb. I've had this for about seven years and it's just very dried up. And I use this more when I would like get breakouts on my face. I would just use that to conceal that, but I really don't get breakouts very often. And it's just, I've had it for so long, so I'm just kind of tossing that. And that is my empties. What are some products you've used up lately? Leave them in the comments down below. By no means did I use all of these in a month or two month period. I'm kind of the person that like keeps using a product until I finish it up and I'll just occasionally rotate other things in. But for the most part, like I kind of commit myself fully to a product, especially skincare stuff. So that's why there's always like a ton because I feel like I run out of everything at once. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.